All right, first things first, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a sweatshirt and a toque, it's because my wife refuses to turn up the heat in more ways than one. All right, so here we go. Um, this is learning goal number three, okay? I can graph linear, linear inequalities in two variables. All right, so get out your notebooks. Today we're gonna do a lot of notes. We're not gonna do a lot of other stuff. Today, tomorrow, I'll, I'll give a longer assignment, um, but we're gonna go through about eight problems, so the video might be just a little bit longer today. All right, so we've dealt with inequalities before. You guys have seen that stuff before, but this is the first time where we've actually dealt with it, where it's graphing, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, just, like, just like graphing in other equations, we want to um, solve for y, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna solve for y by subtracting, I, you guys all know, okay, so here's our equation. Example one, uh, x minus three y is less than or equal to six. Push pause for just a second and uh, go ahead and get that written down. Okay, so uh, here we go. I've got one x, I can put a one in front of that thing, I'm trying to get my y alone. I subtract 1x from each side, minus 1x from each side, okay? That's going to give me negative 3y is less than or equal to, now, can I combine those two things? No. Nah. So I go minus 1x plus 6. All right, now we're super close here. I'm going to divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and divide by negative 3. That leaves me with y. I'm gonna come back to this inequality in just a minute. We're gonna talk about that. A negative one divided by negative three is a one third. Negative divided by negative is a positive. Positive divided by a negative, minus two, okay? Now, remember way back in the day when we were solving equations and whenever we multiplied or divided by a negative, what did we have to do? We have to flip the inequality. So this is a really big deal. I'm dividing by a negative here. This was a less than. Now it's got to flip to a greater than or equal to. Okay, now from there, it's, it's not easy, but it will become easy. The first time we do it, it's not necessarily going to be easy. Okay, I'm going to make a graph. All right, I'm going to push pause so I can make a better graph here. So if we're going to graph this thing, we're going to graph it just like we would any equation. Right there, y equals mx plus b, right? y equals mx plus b. I know you guys are sick of that. Well, b is our beginning, negative 2, 1, 2. Okay? Slope, up 1, over 3, right? Up 1, over 3, all of that should look familiar. Let's do it again. Up one over one, two, three. Okay, now this is where it gets a little interesting. It's not equal to anymore, it's greater than or equal to. Okay, so since that line, since it's greater than or equal to, that means our line is gonna be solid. I'm gonna draw a solid line because of the equal to part. Okay, now this is what's a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna extend that line just a little bit more with my ruler. Okay, now here's what's interesting. This says y is greater than, all right? Well, if it's greater than, that means it has to be above. So here's my line, right? Here's my, think of this as a roof. If it's the middle of the winter, it's greater that your, the snow is on the roof. It would be way less if it was inside the house, right? So if you think of this as a roof, okay, you want the snow on the roof because it's greater than. So what does that mean to us? What, that, what this is telling us then is that you could choose any point up here in this shaded region, any point, and it would make this equation true. Let's choose the easiest point. Let's see what happens. If I test that point right there, what is that, what is that point? Well, everybody knows that point is the point 0, 
zero, right? Well, would the point zero, zero be true in this case? Okay, here's my original equation. What is one times zero? Well, everybody knows that that's zero. Minus three times zero. So zero minus zero has to be less than or equal to six. Well, what is zero minus zero? Obviously, zero minus zero is zero. Is zero less than or equal to six? Well, of course it is, it's less than, okay? So that point is true. I could have tested the point one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. I can test any point up here and it's gonna make this equation true. Okay, if you'd like to test a point, you should push pause right now and, and do that. So what point did you choose? Okay, well, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna choose the point, I'm gonna choose the point negative two, one. Should that be true? Of course it should be true. But let's check it and see. Okay, so if I'm gonna choose the point negative two, one, here I go. I'm gonna go one times negative two. I'm just plugging negative two, one, right? Just plugging the negative two in for x minus three times one should be less than or equal to six. Well, negative two minus three less than or equal to six. Negative five less than or equal to six. Sure enough, that's true. So I, we could do this all day long, but the idea is any point in the shaded region is true. Example number two. We're gonna go just a little bit faster. So um, again, we're graphing inequalities. Now you'll notice this one's a little bit different because the inequality now, it just has a greater than sign. There is no uh, equal to sign, okay? So here we go. You guys have done this a bunch. Subtract three X from each side, negative four Y greater than, can't combine those, right? Negative three X minus eight. All right, divide by negative four, divide by negative four, divide by negative four. There we go again, we're dividing by negative four. So that means I have to say y, if I divide by negative, you have to remember, you have to flip the inequality. y is less than three fourths x, negative divided by negative makes that a positive, and negative eight divided by negative four is a positive two. All right, there's the first part of it. Now we'll graph it. You guys will probably be able to graph this thing pretty easily. Start at two, yeah, been there, done that. Up three, one, two, three, over, one, two, three, four. Down three, one, two, three, back, one, two, three, four. Okay, now, hopefully that'll line up pretty well. That's why you need graph paper, make it better than mine for sure. Okay, now, actually, here's a really big deal, I almost forgot. This now is strictly a less than sign. So remember back in the day we had the open circle, right? Well, the graphing equivalent to an open circle is a dotted line. So instead of being a solid line, it's a dotted line, okay? Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's our dotted line because it, if it was an equal to, then it'd be solid, but it's, it's not equal to, it's a strictly less than. Okay, less than, what does that mean to us? Obviously it means we have to shade below, right? So we're shading below the line. It would be way less if the snow was inside the house, right? So now the snow is underneath the roof, not where you want it, less than, okay? Now let's do, let's kind of go the opposite direction. Remember the last time I checked and said, I said, okay, any point in this region which should make that statement true, right? Well, then that means that any point in this region up here should make the statement false. So let's try the point uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five. That point should make it false. Point zero, five. Let's look, let's look at it. Um, 
So I got uh, zero, zero times, uh, three times zero is zero, okay? Minus four times five is 20. It should be, uh, should is greater than negative eight. Now remember, this statement should be false. Well, is negative 20 greater than negative eight? No, that's not true. Negative 20 is not greater than negative eight. So that statement is false, which makes sense because this point is not in the shaded region. So that means every point out here is false. Every point here in our shaded region is true. Now, I, I know you get, get the point, but I just wanna do one more. Let's quickly test the point zero, zero. I love to do that just because it's super easy. Uh, three times zero is zero, four times zero is zero. So what I really have here is I have zero is greater than negative eight. Is that true or false? Well, you'd rather owe me no money than owe me $8, right? So zero is greater than negative eight. That's true. And it should be true because it's in the shaded region.